so up for part two here um, hey there this is part two of uh, me uh, just browsing through my record bins through my record collection and I'm gonna start off right away um, okay here we got some Sonic Youth thousand and one leaves some more Sonic Youth Eval love spelled backwards early albums Confusion is Sex, Bad Moon Rising, and these are all non original copies. These are all mid priced reissues. Sister, now we're, we're, we're coming to the records I'm really fond of. That's Sister, Goo, here's a ticket. I've seen him like three or four times live, a few times on a, on a festival and few times really dedicated concerts dirty one of the best albums in my opinion and here we got kicking youth also mid-priced um, it's a side project from sonic youth it's a really interesting album crooked rain crooked rain pavement pavement once more I like this one better than Crooked Rain, Crooked Rain. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, Pavement has a lot of albums out. I don't know all of them. I only know these albums and I like this one best. It's a little bit more risky, a bit more emotional, violent. I don't know. I like this one better. Blunt Red Hat. It's a nice album. It's a double album. It's a combo album. Fugazi. If you know them, they're really cool. It's a real good band. Noisy. Uh, kind of the founders of Straight Edge, whatever. They're hard. Their music is really emotional and hard. It's like they're, they're the founders of uh, Straight Edge and Emo Core whatever the day they say it's like that or I don't care about that it's a cool band Unwound got two albums of that that band and um, this one's the best in my opinion the future of what it appears I got a ticket I've been there and 90s that's where I bought the records I uh, got some bad religion here uh, all ages it's a compilation album we're gonna get to a little bit more punkier, a little bit uh, uh, punky, rock and roll kind of area here in my record collection. Not much, but a little bit. Okay, so Sex Pistols, Speedball Baby. Um, also, I've been to a concert of this guy, of these guys. Uh, the record I ordered from a, from a record store. Before, beforehand I've seen the band live so that's cool I knew what I was uh, going to um, Speedball Baby it's really rockabilly trash punky um, I really like it I'm gonna do an item later on on these guys and one girl um, I don't think they still exist but it's really cool music Speedball Baby so we got Stray Cats, pick this up for a few euros, nice record, Treble Spankers, it's a little bit rockabilly, it's a Dutch band, but it's really good, not that, I mean I say but, they're good, uh, doesn't mean Dutch band aren't that good, but I, they're, they're, there's not a lot of Dutch bands around, I collect vinyl LPs off. Um, the Donnas get skin tight, really awesome. The Donnas, Jim Jones review. Um, I talked a little bit about them in an earlier, actually in the previous video prior to this one. Detroit Cobras. This one's really nice. Um, it's a, an edition of thousand, so there's only a, a thousand copies made of this LP or this pressing. The Oblivions, you got to know them. If you don't know them, let me know and I'll 
put up an item about this record. I don't know much about them, but I know this record is really cool. Um, I was DJing uh, once uh, in a cool venue and one girl came to me and she said like oh man you play this song from the Oblivions what album is it and blah 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 it was a song called Mary Lou uh, if I'm not mistaken uh, yeah here you see it Mary Lou it's here Mary Lou oh drop the record Mary Lou it's here and she said like oh I know this band I know this song but what record is it and I told her and she was so happy and that's the nice thing about going to venues and spinning records you know and when people come up to you and ask like oh what is it it really makes my day it really makes my year sometimes okay um 68 comeback is really interesting record it's a double album gatefold um don't don't think many people know this but it's really underground garage rock um, really from the heart this album is awesome here we got some few compilation albums not gonna stand still by it for too long um, these are just albums of 50s and 60s one day flies really cool songs garage rock and I'm gonna do an item later on about these some Carl Perkins Buddy Holly you gotta love him The Clash uh, it's a 3 3 times 10 inch Clash Combat Rock alright got some uh, how you call this some, some dub reggae some dub reggae here I picked up at a dub reggae concert. Oh yeah, I'm missing one of them. Oh no, here it is. Articats. Really, really interesting music. So that's the reason I bought I put Lee Perry in here also. Got two Lee Perry compilation albums, bought them last year. And I'm not as happy with them as I thought I'd be since I had the Lee Perry Arcology. It's a 3 CD compilation album and that was really good. But I don't know, I have to listen to them more closely I guess. Here's one of my favorite bands, Luscious Jackson. And here's Fever In Fever Out. Electric Honey got this picked this up last week from eBay Luscious Jackson natural ingredients which is one of the best albums of them it's on the Grand Royal label and this one's blue vinyl and here I got a single along it's naked eye single maxi single 12 inch it came along really still in the, in the shrink wrap uh, along with this one electric honey and I'm really a big fan of Luscious Jackson I think it's one of the most underrated female uh, rocky they're not rock exactly but they're just laid back well anyway one of the most underrated bands of the 90s and I love them maybe I love them for being underrated so because of the Grand Royal label I put Beastie Boys here just for convenience ill communication here we got Jamiroquai first album second album bought this one in London was really happy to pick this one up I, li I like this one best Return of Space Cowboy got his third album it's also really nice got some uh, Future Sound of London here we're gonna go to the more electrical dancey stuff and such uh, Future Sound of London Life Forms Maxi Single here we got uh, Future Sound of London Dead Cities it's a double album Gatefold, it's really awesome though. Um, the the first record slipped out of my hand one time and actually left a cut. So if I'm able to pick to pick up this album once again for a reasonable price, I will not hesitate. No one should hesitate to pick this to pick up this album for a reasonable price because 
It's one of the best electronic albums from pff, end 90s. Here's Biosphere, it's a maxi single, um, C type project, and the reason I bought that is because I love this album. It's really hard to see on the camera, but it's Biosphere. And the name of this album is Patashnik. And this is really like the beginning of the ambient electronic music. Well, for me it was. You know, along with uh, Aphex Twin, Selected Ambient Works Volume 2, Volume 1. Here's Moondog. Great guy. Love this album. Really love it. Yonder Boy. He is uh, some uh, East European dude. And he made a wonderful album, Shallow and Profound. This is debut album, and I got it on vinyl. Really happy for that. Here, well, one album, it's really hard to see on the camera, but it's Outsacker. It's Chiastic Slide. It's an awesome album. Just bought it half a year ago from uh, eBay for a reasonable price. This is Lamb. It's also nice. This is the debut album of Lamb. It's electronic, but uh, it has really some uh, songwriting involved also. So I don't know if there's many there's many people around who know Lamb. I guess there are, but okay. Selected Ambient Works Volume One. It's a reissue. It's not that spectacular in my opinion. I prefer uh, Volume Two. There's a reissue out recently and I think I'm gonna pick it up for like 30, maybe 40 euro. It's a reasonable price. This one's really nice. It's kind of techno. It's a Dutch uh, fabricate. This is uh, Interference Fucking Consumer. It's impossible to read on the camera. I'm gonna do an item later on this one I guess because it's really, really, really rare. And it's awesome. Sun Ra and his orchestra and another compilation album Psychedelic Jazz and Soul blah 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 has some really really interesting songs on it Chet Baker I'm gonna wrap it around now because I'm already filming like 12 minutes now Final Frontier and some Yellow and another compilation album. Alright, that was another bin.